coming up next, a UFC lightweight division bout. Well, this is truly an eight-point striker, DC. A Muay Thai practitioner making the walk to the octagon yet again here tonight. I love the way he stands high on his toes whenever he's approaching. The hands are high, not always closed. They're just up and high. He's bouncing on that back foot, and everything he throws has no load up. The outside leg kick is truly something special. He will brutalize you with the leg kick, and the moment you start to switch your stance, he will go across to the opposite side to beat that leg up. Then you get desperate. You start trying to grab him. That's when you start to run into the knees. You start to run into the elbows. He's just the most brutal guy that we've seen in the UFC for a long time. And at last check, there are no gloves or any padding on the feet or the knees. Nothing so to protect him. Caution, flammable. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Or till the tape for this, our main event of the evening. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, and they both possess a similar height and reach. Once again, here is the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai fighter, holding a professional record of 12 wins, two losses. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Rafael Alamea! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of New York, New York, Kid Dynamite! All right, give the rules in the locker room. I want you to be in my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come off the All right, so here we go as round one gets underway. Two world-class level strikers here, and the expectation is we're going to get a kickboxing match here in the octagon. Yes, we are going to get a striking match. One guy is very good at kicks. The other guy has unbelievable hands. Let's see what type of attack is going to win the battle of two great stand-up fighters. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. It ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming Man, this way. get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by Dikembe. Head kick lands.
three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Back and forth we go. Oh, nice job defensively to sprawl and avoid that double leg takedown. Oh, he got him real good, too. Punch to the body. No good, it's locked. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Well, he works hard to get up again here, but he looks hurt. Oh, nice scramble by him there. Takedown defense on point. He is a master in transition. Bone on bone as the head kick lands flush. He better get those hands up or he's going to put him to sleep. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Look at the force behind that leg kick. Well, the octagon, Ooh. he's got it here. Back to the feet. Ah, that jab hurt him. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Oh, big left. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Big punch lands through the middle. Over and over, he landed his big body kick. He's got to go chase that finish down now. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh! He's out! He got him! Woo! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you got to show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 49 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by... Knockout! Rock Lion!